Hi everyone, welcome once again to TDL Live on the Digital Lifestyle, your Apple authority. I'm Ryan Ritchie, Adam Ford. Good to be here. I tell you, it is it's another Monday. And a regular winter wonderland. Here. It is chilly in here. Are you serious? It's very a little cold with the snowflakes. All right, do we need to adjust the temperature? Oh, no, I don't think so. Okay. We wouldn't want them to melt. Uh, <laughs> this is TDL Live, so I want to get to a breaking story before this, this arises above the level of the fishbowl. Actually, I got two breaking stories for you before we can even dive in. I'm not, so, I'm not privy to any of this information. Oh, come on now. Have you? One, uh, they're calling it Zoomgate. President-elect Barack Obama spotted, allegedly, at the gym, he's gone to the gym a lot, from what I've heard, uh, sporting a Zoom. I don't believe no. it. No. Sporting a I Zoom. Don't believe it. I don't believe it. Okay, I found it in a Cracker Jack box. What do you no, think? That's the only way. What do you think? Let us know. AOL Instant Messenger, uh, TDL Live. <laughs> I chat, is. I chat TDL Live. Let's <laughs> figure it out. Uh, also, <laughs> you can send us a message on Twitter. Which we will not get immediately. We will, we, we'll we check will, it out. Work to respond to at uh, TDL Live is the the Twitter account as well. So Zoomgate now the the family um, he purchased MacBooks for the family, so I don't right, even know what right, you could hook right. the Zoom up to, unless heaven forbid those are dual booting. Uh, I don't. I doubt it. Uh, that's. I mean, I don't think that he has enough time to play tech support these days. So I doubt that he's dabbling in. Now someone here is mentioning he he needs an iPod, but you said you saw the white spotted, earbuds. Yeah, he was spotted with uh, white white earbuds. The report goes. So okay. I think that I, I think that he has an iPod. I think that they're. Mm -hmm. He probably got a Zune in. Some way or other, I'm I'm sticking well, with Cracker Jack box. What unless you have other other news sources? Uh, supposedly, it was one of the giveaway items in, in mm. at some of the parties at uh, the okay. conventions. Okay, I bet, I bet you can get them in bulk at a good rate. <laughs> I mean, what are they doing with them all? I don't know. Well, and one other thing that I know is in the bowl, but I want to say up front, mm -hmm. because we don't have a lot of time. This is very time sensitive. Mm -hmm. Mac Mall, you remember back on Black Friday, they had uh, some, some good deals on, on the Macs. Mm -hmm. You remember that? Mm -hmm. uh, Mac Mall, not a sponsor, but boy, if you're watching, look at what we're doing here. Uh, <laughs> Mac Mall has extended until midnight Pacific time tonight, uh -huh. those same Black Friday deals. Whoa, get after it. Yeah. So, Pacific time. Pacific. Okay, so that would be 3 o'clock a.m. Eastern. Eastern. Mm -hmm. So there's still some Eastern time left for you. Exactly. Kids. Open a new window. Don't, uh, don't, yeah, don't, don't go, go away. Go away. Come on now. Jeez. So with that, with those two items out of the way. Should we? I think we should. And as always, we drew straws before the broadcast. <laughs> Webcast. Looks like some good recycled paper in here. This there one looks, are some good This ones. one looks particularly interesting. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Pre-production workshop? I don't know. Okay. Flip okay. it around. Let's go. All right. Steve Jobs participating in ad song selection. Uh, and this comes from our good friends at Mac NN. Mm -hmm. uh, Apple CEO Steve Jobs is himself involved in picking the songs used in company advertising, uh, a musician claims. Hmm. Uh, so he picks the music. He helps pick the music. Uh, Steve Jobs, a known Bob Dylan fan. Yes, absolutely. He always plays it when he's on, uh, mm -hmm. on stage mm -hmm. during a keynote. And he loves the Beatles, uh -huh. even though they still or not on iTunes, and yeah. frankly, I don't think anyone cares anymore. <laughs> I, yeah. Do you care? Send us an <laughs> iChat, TDLY. Um, but it's interesting that this must mean that he can put his own musical tastes aside, or maybe he has a broader you know, appreciation of, of newer artists, or perhaps they just come to him and say, you have to pick one of these three. <laughs> um, <laughs> God, God forbid! I wouldn't want to be that person. <laughs> you have to pick one of these three, and that is it. I'm not. I'm not, entertaining, or butts. I'm not entertaining anything else, Mr. Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Get Fred Anderson on the phone. <laughs> you know, for those of you playing along at home, every week I like to reference a corporate officer who no longer and works at Apple. it is Fred Anderson. Last week it was Nancy Heinen, <laughs> okay. though, uh, former uh, counsel for Apple, now Apple. <laughs> Previously Apple Computer, <laughs> but now Apple. You know what? Uh, you, okay, I'm going to take one. Right. While you get the next one, I'm going to try to fire up the Twitter window. Now, folks, this could, this could cause in, a meltdown. The entire, I, I don't endorse this. The entire the webcast, broadcast could go into uh, netcast, whatever you call these things, <laughs> could could go into chaos. But first, let's let's dive in. Yeah, we should at least get two stories done <laughs> before we shut this thing down. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Uh, 
uh, this comes to us from the Fortune Apple 2.0 blogs. Apple was the fifth busiest retail site on Cyber Monday. Last week, Cyber Monday, Not, big shopping day. If you were out shopping, although you'd be in shopping, I guess, because it was you would, Cyber you would Monday. You would be in shopping. You uh, would. It, you, well, you could take it outside with Wi-Fi. You may have missed Cyber Monday Man, who stopped by last yeah. week. Yeah. Well, oh boy, did you miss out. <laughs> well worth going back into the archives for that. Um, so, while competitors were offering deep discounts to pull in recession, recession battered customers. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's quite the tagline. Apple had already ended Black Friday, and by Monday was back to charging usual prices, free shipping, uh, for laptops, etc. Mm -hmm. Yet, the store managed to grab number five spot in Comscore's ranking of the top 20, beating out, you want to take any guesses here? Mm, Amazon? Come on. Beating out, beating out Dell? Yeah. Beating out Hewlett Packard? Sony? I'm sure they did. Beating out Best Buy? Oof. And even Toys R Us and Circuit City. Whoa. Big name. Pretty impressive. Now, Yes, sir. Well, I, I just like to point out that this is this is traffic. This is measuring traffic. It's not measuring conversion. Sales, right. It's not measuring revenue. You know, it's not it's not measuring any of the other key metrics for e-com. So Ooh, okay. it's uh, it, but it's good. I mean, nonetheless, it's good to see that people are heading over to the site and you know being engaged with the products and, and everything else. So. Now, in your secret life away from here, <laughs> yes. Um, uh, maybe you could give us a little bit of a ground report. What's the feel about uh, Sunday Cyber Monday from uh, retailers there's, in general? There's mixed reviews. There's there's mixed reviews. A lot of people are a lot of people had great days, uh, from what I understand. Um, a lot of retailers. Great Danes. Great Danes. Oh, yeah, okay. big dog, big dog. Okay. Um, a lot of them had great days. Um, I, I think that a lot of them didn't if they weren't as promotional as they should have been. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you could always get a great deal out there, but if you didn't have the top the top promo, you probably didn't make out as well. Because people, I mean, people are in tune with Cyber Monday. People sure. are, you know, the news is reporting on it. You know, it, it was, people understand the term and right. have now associated with when it is. Mm -hmm. So, if you, didn't, if you didn't have the best deal out there, you probably didn't make out as well. Now, I, the irony of asking you this on a show that is on Mondays, 9 to 9.30, a very specific time, is, it not, is. is not lost on me. But <laughs> isn't it kind of strange to do something in, in, in cyberspace, look out 1994, um, <laughs> on, a, on a specific day? I mean, isn't the whole idea no, because that any time, any day, you can go shopping? But here's the thing. It's, it, Cyber Monday is consumer, was consumer-driven. So mm -hmm. it was, it was. People are buying a lot on this day, mm -hmm. and here's what we're gonna call it. Okay. And now we're gonna, now we're gonna. Since people are buying on this day, we're gonna really make them buy, want to buy on this day, and we're gonna turn it into a whole thing. Okay, okay, so. fair enough. Uh, by the way, thanks. We we didn't have anyone doing the Twitter. I hate again. I'm guessing like Grandpa trying to program the VCR here. <laughs> I think this is where it would show up if somebody <laughs> sent us something. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> We're we're doing our best here with that. So, uh, uh, oh, I would like to I like to bid everybody a happy Green Monday. Now, what is this? Are you familiar with this? No, what's this? Today is Green Monday. What does that mean? That means that people buy today as well. Green Monday, they're calling it. What's next Monday? I don't know. And we're gonna get I each. We can we can call it something if we want. I mean, it's not gonna be like legit legit, but you know. <laughs> Why? It's Green Monday out there. Happy Green Monday, everyone. Well, that, doesn't, that really doesn't make any sense. Green? No, it doesn't make any sense. Because, Why? well, Black Monday at least follows... Black Monday. Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. Thank you, Metro. Follows Black Friday and it kind does. of that shopping push. This is just a Monday in the middle of it's two not, weeks. It's oh, still, sorry. It's, still a, it's still a big... Uh, <laughs> Why can't I mean? Why day. not? Why can't it be Cyber Sunday then? Uh, well, it, it are you be. are you moving the show along? Is that what you're doing? I, I, that's what I'm doing. Oh my goodness! We only have a limited amount of time, like, you, right. like you had called out. Yes. Maybe somebody uh, sent us a message. You want to check? Okay. I feel like you're redirecting <laughs> me. Like giving giving the youngest son something to do. Okay, Dad, I'll go check the Twitter. <laughs> Microsoft to release <laughs> software retro clothing line. I saw. Did you see this? I did. It's software W E A R. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, like, like threads. They call some people call it gear, um, as it were. Not so, kit. K 
kit is more uh, car related or, or electronics, serious well, kit. Right, yeah. Mm. You know uh, that one? I'm, I'm familiar with kit. Oh, am I using it incorrectly? What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, so there's Sorry. this great, great picture of uh, a, uh, it was a throwback, a throwback to the DOS days. Um, it was pretty bad. It said, it said, it said, I wonder if it's on here. Um, it said DOS on it. Yeah, we, we like, can't. Uh, I can't do it justice at all. But we unfortunately don't have the ability to show you a photo. Yeah, showcase the DOS <laughs> days of the, the software company. Um, I mean, which, isn't it bad enough to look back to XP and now we're like, let's look back to yesteryear of DOS. Uh, but, it's, but it's retro. I know people out there that would buy a Newton t-shirt if there was well, one out there. Yeah, what was wrong with the Newton? Oh, uh, see, now you're being biased. That's just old. Why? What's? How's that different than DOS? And nobody wants to use DOS. I don't care who you are. Nobody wants to use DOS. Come on. Give me a break. Someone pointing out this is TDL Monday. Not Green Monday. TDL Monday. And every Monday, <laughs> more or less, is TDL Monday. Thank you for that. Uh, just yeah, a reminder, TDL Live tonight brought to you by Yazsoft, creators of Speed Download and Share Tool. Check them out at yazsoft.com. And we talked about their giveaway last week as well. This DOS thing. <laughs> well, I was picturing you in it. In the in, what? In the, in the DOS the shirt. The DOS shirt, yeah. 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 Is it me? Is it him? <laughs> it's me? No, I just, I just wanted. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what I have here. Google Earth browser plugin for OS X. So the Google Earth uh, browser plugin, apparently, according to this headline, well, yeah. you, can, yep. you can take it from there, really. Uh, but the plugin works with both Firefox and, interestingly enough, Safari. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This basically brings more of the Google Earth features into the browser rather than just Google Maps, is what this comes down to. Right. All right. Glad we got that one out of the way. Oh my. Bitter with the sweet. What movie, folks? TDL Live. I'm not, 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 familiar, not familiar. Bitter with the sweet. Tech support. Tech support. So uh, here we go again. Here. Apple tablet in 2009. Uh, Mac tablet rumors are abound again. Um, looks like we. That's it. The headline says it all. What do you think? Mac tablet ever? January? Yeah. No. Because everybody's sitting around on their piles of money and they're thinking, yeah. Well, if only there was a I've tablet got, I I've got the MacBook Apple. Pro, I've got the Air, but there's something missing. Yeah. It's got to be a tablet. There's no tablet coming. I'm sorry. There is no tablet. Wow. Okay. I'm just, I'm just doing the rounds you're, you're here. You're perusing. I'm making sure we want, we want to keep, uh, keep in touch. Nobody so you stay Twitter, in touch. Huh? I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. I, I see a little bird. Does Wouldn't that mean something? Come up? I think it might just yeah, come up. Yeah, but this up. is the things I have said. See, I, oh. I think, well, TDL lot, please, somebody send us a Twitter. <laughs> and if you have, send us an eye check to let us know you have. <laughs> so we can figure out if we even know what we're doing. You're up. Great. <laughs> Excellent. I think it's just going to come up. By the way, uh, showdown tonight, my Monday Night Football of two nine and three teams. It's a division rivalry. Just in case this gets a little too rough. <laughs> Sell the discontinued. Oh, sorry, wrong order. iPhone confirm. Now, okay, now we're having a we're having a happy jolly time here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's all going to come crashing to a halt. Mm -hmm. Because something we joked about a while back apparently is actually happening. Do you know what that is? Something that we joked about a while yeah, back. Yeah, a while back we're like, ha ha, that'll be the day when blah 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 is in the blah blah blah. No. When beep, let's play Apple Libs. When beep is sold in beep. <laughs> what? iPhone sold in Walmart. Come oh. on now. Seems to be confirmed, folks. By the end of December, we should be seeing the iPhone in Walmart. Uh, according to Gizmodo, it doesn't look like uh, that $99 Walmart, the $99 iPhone, rather. That rumor doesn't seem to be uh, true. It's going to mm -hmm. be $197, the phone that's $199 everywhere else. Right. So watch out for falling prices. 
<laughs> and uh, good luck getting your greeter to activate that. <laughs> Hope that goes well. Well, it just goes, see, they, here's the thing that kills me. It just goes to show you that. <laughs> what kills you, Andy this Rooney? Is, this is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a funny. He's a funny fellow. What's, I'll tell you. On the sixty minutes, he's yes, got me. Yes. Um, so, I don't like. Is it a commodity already that we don't need anybody to sell these things that has any kind of product knowledge whatsoever? It's come in, get your iPhone, get your lawn chair, and you're out. I mean, mm -hmm. what? Uh, I guess not. I mean, I guess I guess it's already. I don't know. It's amazing to me. It just it blows my mind that we don't need we don't need to go to the Apple store. Right. We don't need to go to the. I mean, even a worst case scenario, the the Apple store within the store. At you know, I pass by. Sure. To to talk to somebody that might actually have some sort of sort of product knowledge that gives a crap. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. I, I just can't. It blows my mind that this is the, that already this is like a commodity. Well, I think you have so many other touch phones out there. Granted, most of them have terrible, terrible problems, mm -hmm. uh, i.e. the Storm, which, by the way, uh, footnote, Best Buy, you might want to turn down the notch on the. I see so many Storm mm -hmm. ads from Best Buy. We're like, yeah, we've got the Storm. It's wonderful. Like, you've got the iPhone. Okay, <laughs> be happy you've got the iPhone, because now look who has the iPhone. Yeah, boy. Walmart. That's who has it. Uh, I want to thank, we did have someone send us a Twitter here. I don't see it. But we cannot see it. I don't see so it. clearly we don't know how to operate this newfangled computer thing. Uh, yeah, I don't no, see it. No, there's nothing there. Hmm. Maybe we're on the wrong page. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Oh. Maybe, maybe, maybe we should log in. Do you have to log in? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's it. your turn to pull. Why don't you pull? I'll pull you okay. log in. We'll see if we can get this, All right. thing, this thing going here. This is embarrassing. Wow. Um, all right. I'll tell you, so, yeah, soft, happy. They, uh, they got yeah, on this train. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There's too many pieces of paper here. I can't even maneuver this. Um, Argentina-based open iMac now selling Mac clones. Oh, the, the folks at uh, Psystar must really be fired up about this. <laughs> um, so, so basically, it's a company that's offering clones. Um, so it's, uh, they're selling OS X computers, and uh, the company builds its product line with the tag, benefits of a Mac, price of a PC. Two models are available on the open iMac, a 990, 2.53 gigahertz Core 2 Duo machine that supports two gigs of memory and a 320 SATA drive, mm -hmm. SuperDrive, ATI, Radeon HD Pro, and even a six-in-one memory card reader. Hmm. What's the price on that? That's 990. Not bad. Is that U.S. dollars? Uh, it looks like U.S. dollars. It does look it's like not it. Pounds, it has the little dollar sure. sign, and this that's, is from MacWorld. It, so. could, it could be Canadian. Don't they do that? I don't think Canadian. I don't think they use Canadian dollars in Argentina. They might accept. Um, by the way, for those of you who are on why the edge, why, why would they use U.S. dollars? <laughs> for the, I don't understand that's your true. argument. That's true. <laughs> Euros, right? Uh, for those of you on the edge of your seats about our Twitter drama, it's a good news, bad news situation. Good news is I've logged in and discovered we have a Twitter. The bad tweet. The bad news is it's not from the person who said they sent it. Right. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, two not, minutes ago. Two yeah. minutes ago. I mean, it's, that's up to date as far as I'm that's concerned. That's not. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Let's get back over to, you know, let's get over to the time tested iChat. This is why Apple doesn't delve into this social networking web 2.0 stuff. Stick with what works, stick with Mobile Me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, it's not in the bowl, so uh, I want to mention this. Uh, did you see the whole GCAL, iCal? Yeah, it's thing? supposed to. I, I set it up, um, very happy with it. Yeah. It, 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 the small issues with it really aren't the fault of, well, anyhow, here's what happens. You download a little piece of software, mm -hmm. uh, you put in your username and password for Google, it gives you the, your list of, of calendars, you pick the ones you wanna add to iCal, you add them to iCal, mm -hmm. and now you can update in iCal, and it'll show up in Gmail and vice versa. That's oh, two-way street. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, due to the way the push services work or don't mm -hmm. work, mm -hmm. on the iPhone, you only get it updated when you actually dock an update. 
because it's not a mobile meet calendar. It's, uh, uh, it's yeah, that makes sense, I guess. But uh, overall, not bad. Okay. That's the only gripe, but I really think that goes to the whole push thing. If, yeah, if it's just if you can push those ones, right? Be hmm. set. Cool. I'll check that out. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, MacBook Air displays are starting to get um, some gray lines mm -hmm. in some cases. This comes to us from Mac Tidbits. And um, it kind of gives it the look of if you could imagine a parchment paper or mm. like recycled paper. And uh, they are the most recyclable. Right. So maybe that's right. it. Maybe it's actually paper in there. Maybe. It could be. Doubtful. I uh, don't know how widespread the issue is. Some folks have said that in the Mac Rumors forums that it's similar to uh, some issues earlier with MacBook Pros. So, so this is in, this is in a MacBook Air two thousand late two thousand eight. It's not a confirmed issue. Well, it's not in 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 our old Apple days. This is not a um, a known known issue. issue. It's not a known issue, okay. or it's not a uh, yes, not a known issue. Okay. Okay. You really got to peek behind the curtain there, folks. <laughs> yeah. You should dig this episode just for that. <laughs> they told us what the secret code was when it was an issue they knew about. <laughs> uh, that's good. Anyhow, slight variations in the description. You get the idea. They don't all look the same. Well, there's a lot of. Apparently, it's happening right away, though. A lot though. of things happening here. <laughs> Four gig, $99 iPhone. And we're, uh, say no now. Mm. Say no on that. Not happening. All right. What do we got here? That's a heavy, heavy stock again. Yes, yes, yes. You and your uh, stock. You're trying to. It is. It's a heavy yeah, stock. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to parlay this gig into being a spokesperson. Hi, I'm Adam Ford, and this is <laughs> this is some heavy stock. <laughs> when I need a 20 pound ream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Adobe and Belkin. Belkin. Well, that's how paper Adobe sold, and girl. Belkin back out of MacWorld. IDG not concerned. IDG, of course. Hmm? They run MacWorld. Right, right. Well, yeah. Well, some people think it's it's Apple, but Apple doesn't. They do not. No. Uh, well, it would be interesting if they didn't show. Who Apple? Yeah. Well, they don't show up in uh, in Europe sometimes. Hmm. MacWorld, hmm. Paris. Well then. Uh, IDG World Expo isn't too concerned, or so it claims, spokesperson issued with this statement. So uh, Adobe and Belkin aren't going to be there, which is the, the crux of the story. Um, I, Adobe kind of throws me off. I mean, Belkin, it's like, really? Do I need another cable? Um, but, but uh, uh, you know. Did I tell you about the pending ad deal with Belkin? <laughs> <laughs> Whoosh. Yes, I see that flying by right now. Um, Adobe, though, yes. um, I'm, I'm a little surprised about that. I'll be well, honest with you. I'm a little bit surprised about that. Adobe will be there, but they're going to, uh, this sounds shady, they'll be giving presentations in hotel rooms. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, because oh, they found that's right. a more effective way to, to spend San their Francisco. time. <laughs> All right. Uh, still checking that Twitter, and clearly we, we can't do it. We just can't. We cannot. What, it's beyond what us. What do you mean? We, I think we're fine. No, there are, there are people here telling me that Twitters have been sent tweets. People correct me on that. Tweets have been sent, right? But they're not here. Okay. Well, maybe they're sending them wrong. I feel like we're fine. Okay. Yeah. Maybe they're not doing it right. That's probably <laughs> well, the where problem. Where else would you go? There's nowhere else to go. Know. I don't I, this know. is right. This is right. By the way, don't forget, if you want this kind of insight... Without the video, head over to the blog. Yeah, it's good stuff over there. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> you really sold it. It is. Go away every way you want me to say. I can't tell them all the stories that they want nothing to read. They won't have nothing to read. It's the blogs. Rosette, oh, by the way, going back to the movie trivia question, we were looking for Vanilla Sky. No one won the... Uh, yeah. Uh, the boat. Mm -hmm. There was a boat. Did I mention there mm -hmm. was a boat? I'll be keeping the boat. Uh, Rosetta. Now, I don't mean the guy with the kind of bald head that tells everybody they can learn 32 languages and it's used by NASA. Mm -hmm. Not the Rosetta language thing, but Rosetta in the Mac OS. Yeah. Rumor has it now in some of the new builds of uh, Snow Leopard. Mm. Um, Rosetta may be an optional install. This comes to us from Mac. Now, why would I not want that installed by default? Because... 
It, my guess would be, now I mean, let's bring everyone up to speed. Basically what Rosetta allows you to do is run code that was made for the PowerPC chips right. on your Intel chip. So if you have like an old version of Office or something like that that right. was running on a PowerPC and G4 or something right. like that, G5. Well, my, my assumption would be it would be just like, you know, why do you not have OS 9 on your machine now? I mean, I guess the thought is by that point, all the apps you want will be native, Intel native. But it, and I mean, with that, why would I not want, I mean, other than taking up some hard drive space, mm -hmm. why would I not want it on there? Like, you know, why would I not want, I don't care if I have OS 9 on there. Right, I mean, maybe right. I have an OS 9 app that I would not know how to use otherwise mm -hmm. if it wasn't already on there. I feel, right. like, I feel like it's more of like a service issue at this point okay. where people can have old software and not know that they need to install something else. Right. You know, and be like, well, this just doesn't work now. Why why would this not work? My yeah. my guess would be, and maybe some engineering people out there will have a better idea, but my guess would be it has something to do with the new implementation of 64-bit memory, 64-bit right. addressing in Snow Leopard. But if it's if it's optional, that means it can be installed and it right, but run. It, but it might so back it down to say it might make it a 32-bit OS or something. I don't if know. It's in, just if it's installed, and not not something's not running on it. I I don't know. I'm just I'm just throwing it out no, there. I just, a, I just valid, don't understand why you wouldn't. It's a valid yeah. uh, it's a valid point. Can can we take a quick break? Uh, no. Because <laughs> we gotta go straight through. Uh, no, I just where, wanted to. Where are we going? Where are we going? Well, I just wanted to let. Okay, do, can I tell some folks some behind the scenes things that are you, going you on? You can here? if you like. Okay, so we stream here to you. We've got the channel going 24 hours a day, and we do this through uh, a provider called Mogulus. Mm -hmm. And there are different live streaming people out there. There's there's Quick if you want to go from your cell phone. There's UStream. There's Stick'em. There's uh, Floobs, which I learned about today. Awesome. Floobs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so we are investigating some, some different options for the live stream. So you might see some changes in the next few weeks and would like your feedback on that if you do notice that. This was all, well, just you can read all about it. It'll, be a, it'll be a blog at, yeah, at some point. At some point. Mogulus basically point. has made some changes to their service levels and uh, we're not necessarily going to fit into the new mold. Mm-hmm. Very political. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, me, me, he, me, you, mm. you. Okay. I you know what we need? We need a big arrow that points. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, I mean, really? Can we fold it in more and more ways? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this story. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hang on. There's another part to it here. This goes here. Okay. All right. So, so three apps. So, so this this story the story goes like this: <laughs> three apps define Apple's mobile platform. What? Only three? But there's like ten thousand apps out there. How could only three define this platform? That's mm -hmm. unbelievable. That's how how can you boil it down like that? Unbelievable. So, so basically, the three apps that define Apple's mobile platform, according to uh, this story here, from where? Um, from uh, eWeek. Okay. eWeek, Apple Watch. Uh, one is Amazon Mobile. Mm -hmm. The other is Google Mobile App. Mm -hmm. And the third is Obama 08. Okay. And everyone click. Everyone's okay. just like, that's what are you talking about? Okay. So we're, Obama we're 08. Jump in here. Obama, let's start up with Obama 08 because mm -hmm. it is no longer available. Mm -hmm. So out the door. So. They're going to have to replace it with something if three apps are to define this platform, mm -hmm. but you can't download Obama 08. Okay. At any rate, uh, the uh, Amazon, Mo Amazon Mobile mm -hmm. uh, free app. So basically, the, the idea here is that not only can, not only is it a, the App Store is a, uh, a place of commerce where you can sell and buy the applications themselves, but it's... The platform, the the Apple mobile platform, is more robust than that because not only not only is that fr that first layer of commerce available, you can then go and use these apps to buy things or to you know interact with other things. So, right. so Amazon Mobile obviously a portal to to buying things through your phone or through your your iPod Touch. Um, Google Mobile app, uh, you know searching for things that you know it integrates with the the. 
geolocation type stuff. So right, right. it's um, you know it takes advantage of, of the other aspect of the phone. And Obama 8, I don't really know how that fits well, in. I, think, I stopped reading at that point. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, shenanigans. Well, I, th <laughs> I think the point that they're making with the Obama app is that it was, it was geared as a way to uh, mobilize large groups of people. Right. Kind of the social interactive. So I think it's the, the social portion of that app. Yep. Uh, Amazon, you have the commerce side of things, mm -hmm. as you said. And then the Google mobile app, well, you just, you gotta have Google. You have to have Google. You have to have it. Uh, I got a good news, good news, bad news scenario All right, for everyone here. Break it down for me. Bad news is the show is over. The oh. good news is we've got leftovers, leftovers next week. Nice. We'll put those in the fridge. Keep make sure they're nice and warm. Mm -hmm. do, uh, we have, do we have a lid for the fishbowl? Hmm. We'll put some uh, wrap over it. Okay, it'll be fine. I was concerned. Folks, thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget. Don't forget. He's forgotten. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, don't forget, uh, seriously, folks, stop by the blog, check out our reviews there, new review. Oh, you know what I wanted to let everyone know? Mm. Last uh, a few days ago, I did an interview with uh, Tim Westergren, the um, CEO of Pandora. A lot uh, of people yes. out there use Pandora. I like the Pandora. So that interview will be up shortly. Cool. Check that out. Sure. I don't mean tonight. Come on, you know that. But check back anyway. It, yes, please do. And also, uh, we'll be back next week. Now, that Twitter feed, follow us. Do I have that right? Yes. Follow Follow us. TDL Live is the, the name to follow there on Twitter. With that, farewell, and uh, we'll see you again next Monday. Bye, everybody. Take care.